What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Milotic and Tinkaton for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Milotic, this Pokemon is super fun, especially with this set right here. It's got Coil to boost its attack, defense, and accuracy stats, allowing it to land Hypnosis like crazy, putting Pokemon to sleep left and right. On top of that, the accuracy boost will help out Hydro Pump, making that land, I'm pretty sure, 100% of the time with just one accuracy boost. So, super excited to be using Milotic. Cannot wait to rock out with this Pokemon. Like I mentioned, we also have Tinkaton. Now, Tinkaton is a Fairy and Seal type Pokemon, which is honestly one of the best dual typings of all time. It's got Mole Breaker, it's got the Cover Cloak, then it's rocking out with Fake Out for first turn flinches, Gigaton Hammer and Play Rough for two big time stab moves, and last but not least, it's got Thunder Wave for Speed Control and Paralyzes. Really like these two Pokemon, cannot wait to showcase them in this format. Now, the other four Pokemon on our team features the Meta Squad. You got Incineroar. You got Choice Band Rillaboom, doing Choice Band Rillaboom things and Incineroar things. And then you got Hydreigon and Murkrow. Murkrow gonna be there for support. It's got Tailwind and Haze with Taunt. And Hydreigon there with the Choice Specs to pair up with, with this Milotic. Now Milotic has Dragon Cheer. We can Dragon Cheer into Hydreigon, making this thing crit left and right with the Choice Specs on top of that. This thing can pretty much just delete any Pokemon it wants to. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Tinkaton and Milotic team. Going up against the dreaded duo in match number one, Titar and Garchomp, such a strong combo with Golden Go, Murkrow, Archiludon, and Glimora. Now, we need a way to deal with Archiludon, and this team... Kind of has a little bit of it with Hydreigon if I can get that Pokemon rolling. But I kind of just want to go into like Milotic and maybe try to set up a Coil this turn. That could be really good for us. So Milo, get on over here. Get on over here. I could also lead like Incineroar here. That wouldn't be bad at all. And I think that's a solid lead for us. They got two big time physical attackers with T-Turn. Garchomp who they can lead. We can always fake out turn one. I feel like, again, a lot of different options for us. So I'm going to go into Incineroar. I am going to go into Milotic turn one. And then late game, we got to bring Hydreigon. And last but not least, do we go Choice Ban Rillaboom? Choice Ban Rillaboom can do some damage. It's got Grass Tower. It's got High Horsepower. It's got U-Turn. I'm going Rillaboom. I'm going to say screw the Speed Control. You can have it. You can have it. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. Let's lock this one in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves one here in match number one. But yo, it's story time. I was chilling, editing last night. It was about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So getting a bit later, but... You know, Jeans' stomach was rumbling, so I was just like, yo, let's go into the kitchen. Let's see what we got rocking. Went into the freezer, seeing we had some frozen chicken tenders. I was just like, yo, we are popping some of them bad boys in the oven. Get some honey mustard sauce on the side, ready to go for a night. So I pop them in the oven, I come back, I finish editing for the night. I finish doing my video stuff. So, come back out, the chicken nuggets are smelling good. Not nuggets, chicken tenders are smelling delicious. I'm like, all right, these bad boys are done. So I pull them out, grab like one of those, uh, like the oven mitts, grab the metal tray that it's on. And then my brother comes out as I'm pulling them out. So I'm pulling them out. My brother comes out into the kitchen. We start talking like fancy football. I turn to the side because I get distracted because I like fancy football. And dude, the chicken nugget pan hits me in the arm. And I got this big burn mark across my arm. I was like, dude, it just ruined my night. I was so excited for chicken nuggets. Went back in my room. Went back on my computer for a little bit, and then I realized, like, these chicken nuggets aren't going to eat itself. I can't let this burn ruin my chicken nuggets, so went back in there, ate them up, but was still upset. Got a nice little burn. It was kind of funny. Just thought you guys should know this. But, Glimora and who has got the lead? Garchomp? Are you clear emulate Garchomp? You're not. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. And I think from here, just a coil turn is probably in our best interest. So I'm going to go for a coil here, and I just think faking out the Garchomp is going to be the play. So nice little coil set up here for us. Garchomp's going to protect. No big deal. I could have faked out the Glamour, but I didn't really want Spikes to set up. I'm going to be honest. You could go for Meteor Beam or Power Gem. That's definitely a possibility. But at that point, I got coil set up. So I kind of like where we're sitting. Let's see what Glamour does. Mortal Spin. So he's going to throw some poisons on me. How dare you? How dare thee put a poison on me? How dare thee? The poison's going to start slowly chipping away. It's going to be rather annoying. And I'm going to Hydro Pump down this... uh. This, what's it called? This Glamora. And I might just parting shot into Garchomp at this point. I got leftovers. So that's going to negate a lot of the poison damage, which is good for us. I'm ready to roll. It's kind of funny. Poison only did four? No, that was Mortal Spin. Okay, that's fair. But I was going to say, that did that poison did little to none. So poison, yeah, doing a pretty decent chunk here. But I'm going to rip a Hydra Pump. Look to KO you and just parting shot out of here. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to leave, so 
I kind of like that first turn we get Quill set up. I mean, that allows Milotic to really just like get after it. But we're going to see a Terror type come out here. Please be Garchomp, not Glamora. Of course it's Glamora. Is that Grass Glamora? It's Grass Glamora. Thank, thank, thanks a lot. Cool. But I just kind of jinxed myself there. Hate this game a lot. Hydro Pump going to do about negative five damage. And EQ is going to launch. So EQ minus one shouldn't KO Instant War, which it doesn't. Does a little bit of damage to Glamora. Does that pop spikes? That's so weird. You can pop spikes by yourself. Kind of cool. Parting shot launches. We're going to dip out of here. And who do I go into from here? What is the play call? What is the Gene's play call? Hydrogon, I could go roll boom. Could be going for a rock move, which I do not like. There's no way you're going for another mortal spin. Um, I could go into you. What's your speed? There's no way you're faster than Garchomp. You might be faster than Garchomp. I doubt it though. I'm gonna go into roll boom. Just going to roll boom, play it safe, play it simple. I could always U-turn pivot with the choice band. Should be able to do a huge chunk of damage into Glamora. I'm gonna take this nice little poison to the chin, and this is starting to get annoying, man. A lot of poisons going on here. I set up the grassy terrain. An energy ball gonna launch. You got energy ball? I'm dead, and I just gave him terrain. Bye bye, Milo. Milo gone. Really hurt soul. Alright. So I still have Terra, which is good news. Um Huh. I got Levitate, so spikes won't hit me, which is good news. I could just go into what's called if I want to. Incineroar if I want to, but I think just going into Hydrogon is definitely a play, because I could fake out this turn. He's going to protect the uh, the Garchomp, so I'm going to have to choice into like, Dark Pulse here, which I am going to do. So I'm going to go Dark Pulse. I could Terrasilize into Poison, which wouldn't be bad. What other Pokemon do you have? You have Steel types. I'm going to choice into Dark Pulse here. I'm not going to Terrasilize just yet, because I'm almost positive that you are going to, what's it called? Protect the Chomp, or even swap it, so... I think just going into U-turn and doubling down into slot is our play. Yeah, so good call on Aaron. So we U-turn pivot. We're going to make this guard chop minus three. Dark Pulse is going to chip up some nice damage. And U-turn should be able to finish off. We get a flinch too, which is massive. It's a big time flinch. So U-turn does finish it off with a choice band. We got choice specs. Hydrogon just showing on the field. Toxic spikes even, even heavier here. So I'm already poisoned. I'm going to throw out Incineroar. And we're going to drop Garchomp's stats to minus three. And I got Fake Out ready to go. So I can Fake Out the Garchomp again if I want. I keep thinking you're just going to hard swap the Garchomp. I keep thinking that. But yeah, losing that Milo early on is kind of kind of rough. For us, especially after we set up a Quill. Timmy flies. Minus three on the Chomp. Minus three on the Chomp. I do like how the Grass Train is helping us out a little bit with this Poison. And Incineroar got about two turns left in its lifespan before it dies out. So let's see. Let's see who they throw out here. It's gonna be Titar. So Titar's gonna come out here. Um, I might just want to hard swap Hydreigon here. This Dark Pulse looking a little rough. So I am gonna end up doing that. And do I fake out the Garchomp or do I just knock off the item? Hmm. I think I just fake out the Chomp. Try to buy another turn. I mean, I know Rock Slide's gonna come out here. Let's be honest here. I know Rock Slide's gonna come out here. But we're just gonna fake out the Chomp. Hopefully Titar protects. He withdraws the chomp. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. I'm going to reset my choice. He's going to go into Golden Go. Hydrogon's going to swap. And it's going to turn into a 2v3, which we're sitting in a tough position. Unless... Unless I outspeed. They don't got Terra anymore, which is good news. We still have Terra, which is good. The fake out's going to do nothing. And there's the Rock Slide. I should have faked out the T-Tar. I should have faked out the T-Tar. I mean, the Garchomp wasn't really a threat being minus three. Alright, so they reset stats. Not looking good for a nice little warm-up match for us. Roboom's gonna take a little bit of buffets, but then it's gonna get back some HP, and then it's gonna lose HP again to the poison. <laughs> Alright, Hydreigon, it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. You do have the poison terra. Dark Pulse is really good for us. Oh, do we stay with Dark Pulse now? I kinda wanna stay with Dark Pulse now. And then go into like a, a grassy terrain wood hammer. I'm going for that. I'm going for that. I'm going for Dark Pulse in this slot. I really need Rillaboom to just pick up a KO onto, onto T-Tar. I know it's super bulky in the Sandstorm, but I'm ready, I'm ready to rip it. I'm ready to rip. This is our one shot. Because Dark Pulse should be able to finish off 
Golden Go no problem, correct? It should be able to finish off Golden Go no problem. So if I can outspeed the T-Tar, that would be beautiful and just would hammer to victory. Protect comes out from T-Tar. That's, that's a real smart call. That's a real smart call. Hydrogon should be able to outspeed here. KO you. See you later. Get it on out my face. Now we're sitting here. Do I Grassy Guide instead now? Hmm. We do out... Actually, we, I'm not sure if we outspeed yet. I'm not sure. I know Garchomp outspeeds us. So do I go on the Grassy Guide instead? See how that plays out? Because Garchomp could just KO us. That's the problem. I think I might just want to go into Grassy Guide instead. How much damage can Grassy Guide do? It's Stab, Super Effective, Choice Span, Into Terrain, with Terra. We're going to go for Grassy Guide. This should be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm Choice. I totally forgot. <laughs> Even though I just said Choice. So we're going to go. We're going to stick with the Wood Hammer. We'll go for a Dark Pulse Flinch. He's going to end up having Poison Jab, too. Good game. Good game. I maybe should have just went in the Grass Guy, but I, I really like the Wood Hammer there, especially if that T-Tar didn't protect. We would have been kicking it. We would have been kicking it, but that one's on me. Losing our uh, Milotic real early in the match really did us dirty, and Dark Pulse doing really good damage. Low Kick going to fly and almost KO us, but Buffets will finish it off. Buffets will finish it off. So GG's to our opponent. Garchomp, T-Tar getting the best of us. Did I survive on one? I think I did. I think I did survive on one. I did. So, at least I don't lose my Hydreigon. I can run this match. Again, good game to our opponent. Let's go hop into our second match. All right, guys. It's time to bounce back. We are going up against Arcanine, which is kind of weird. I feel like whenever Incineroar is in the meta, you don't see Arcanine. So, pretty cool that this player is choosing Arcanine over Incineroar. I feel like a total loser now using Incineroar. But they also have Grimstar for screens. Can't get annoying. I could go in the Coil Milotic again. Probably a pretty safe option for us. So I do like it. Especially with competitive and if they want to go into Intimidate. So I'm going to go in the Milotic for our lead. Um, other Pokemon that we could lead could be maybe like Incineroar again. We could just go into like Real Boom. I could go into Tinkathon. But I don't know how to feel about Tinkathon. Hmm. I could taunt with you. Actually, Grimstar is Dark type. Hate this game. I think they're, they definitely lead Grimstone, correct? I could go into Hydreigon, maybe just Dragon Cheer this one. I doubt he goes for Spirit Break turn one. I really do. Hmm. I say we save our Hydreigon. I say we save our Hydreigon. We can just go into a safe play with like Rillaboom here. I'm gonna go Robum. I am gonna go Milotic. I am gonna bring Hydreigon. And last but not least, I am gonna go Incineroar. So, same squad from last time. We're looking to bounce back here. I mean, we lost our Milo real early, so that was a a big turning point for us. Because if we would have kept our Milotic, we would have been really just shining in that match. But yeah, Energy Ball, Terra, Glamora, not good. No bueno. Especially when I swapped it to the Terrain that turn, I was just like, yeah, this thing, this thing isn't going. Or, this thing's going. But the match came down to the wire. Because if you think about it, if that T Tar doesn't protect there and we land that Wood Hammer. Night, night, game over. Thanks for playing. It would have turned into a 2v1 up against Garchomp. And we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving because it wouldn't have EQ'd because one, Grassy Terrain's out on the field, and two, Hydreigon was levitated. But on top of that, again, it's a 2v1. I don't think it was really KOing much. But they end up going into Arcanine. Is that Intimidate Arcanine? That'd be lovely. Yep. We like that. I can U turn pivot here if I want to. Or I could just hard swap. Um, hmm. I definitely want to coil here. I definitely want to coil just to be able to make sure that we land our shots. But he's going to go into... What do you got? Mirror Herb? Okay. Um, there's no way you're special attacking, right? You could be. I am still just going to go into a coil here. I could just hard swap into Incineroar. Yeah, it's such a safe play. It's such a safe play. We're, we're going to go with the safe play. It's just such a safe play. So he can Spirit Break. I mean, drop my special attack, but then Competitive is just going to boost. We're sitting plus two. I'm looking to coil this turn. We're kind of hoping there's like a Protect coming out here from like Arcanine or something. Let's see. Yep, cool. Awesome. Dope. We love this. And I get out Incineroar. So I get out a good swap here. I can fake out this turn. And he's going to Swagger me and confuse me. How dare you? How dare you? So good, good Swagger there. Can I land this Coil at least? I really would like this Coil. This coil is like our most important, uh, most important turn. Of course, I miss it. Like this is just gonna be terrible. It's gonna be terrible. 
This is going to be brutal. Luckily, I get back a ton of HP with Milotic, and I'm going to go for the Coil again. This is brutal. Real brutal. So we'll go for Coil again, and we'll just go for a Flare Blitz. Or not Flare Blitz, a Fake Out here. Into the Arcanine slot, because it did protect. It's probably going to hard swap out. Maybe I should have faked out the Storm and made that read, but I just think playing it safe right now is, is our best interest, especially because all we need to really do is land a Coil and get set up. I'm kind of upset that, of course, we were confused that turn. Like, I would have loved to just have the coil set up right away. And now I have to now I have to deal with RNG again. Now I have to deal with RNG. Brutal. Brutal. So he withdraws to Grimstrong. This is a good turn. So we get up a, a, a free chance to set up a coil. Unless you're covert cloaked. And you're going to go into Dragonite. Dragonite comes out here. Fake out's going to launch. Not too shabby. And this thing is going to flinch. Can I, can, I, can I get this coil off this time? Can I go 50%? Thank you, thank you, that's beautiful, that's beautiful, because two physical attackers on the field. Nice little defense boost, I got grassy terrain, I got leftovers. I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to roll. I am ready to roll, um, hmm. I'm gonna go for Hydra Pump here, I'm gonna look to take out you. And I think I just go for knockoff? Just look to take off your item, because you could be bandit here. That's something we really don't want to deal with, so I'm just going to attack you. He's going to end up with Joel and Arcanine. That's fine. we got Hydro Pump ripping into this slot. Plus two on special attack, by the way. Hopefully, Confusion ends. This is Grimstarl again. Yeah, Grimstarl is going to fly back out here. They don't have screens. Knockoff's going to come out here first, which is great, and take off the Choice Band. That's beautiful. Come on. You got to be done with these ducks. You got to be done with these ducks. Let's go, Milo. Love you. Hydro Pump's going to launch. Big time damage. One-shotting the Grimstarl. Like I said, we're bouncing back here. This is what I wanted to do last match with the coil set up. He's going to pop an Outrage. No choice ban, by the way, now, which is great. Look at that. We soaked that all day. We're going to get back a good chunk of HP. I can just simply protect if I want to. And get back even more. Um, hmm. Let's see who he throws out here, because I might just protect Milo and Parting Shot out and get back out Rule Boom. Not too bad for us right now. Coil set up with Milo. This thing's getting bulky. Get It gets back a good chunk of HP. Um, we know we outspeed the Dragonite. I wish I had an ice move. Interesting competitive pop. So we know he's gonna terrestrialize here. It's pretty simple that he terrestrializes. And I am just gonna go into a. I could hypnosis the Dragonite. I don't have protect. I kind of thought I had protect. I think I might just put Dragonite to sleep. I know Milo outspeeds. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Dragonite to sleep. Dragonite's gonna go to sleep. We are going to parting shot out of here into the Arcanine slot. And we'll see how this one plays. Like, I know he's Trasslizing. Like, this is just the most obvious play ever. Grass Terra, right? You're rocking Terra Blast. It's just very obvious. Normal Terra. So, normal Terra, E speed's a possibility. Um, again, your Dragonite's going to sleep, which is beautiful news. Extreme speed gonna launch. Gonna go double down to my Milo. That's totally fine. Milo, again, outspeeds Dragonite. And we're going to say night-night to it with this lovely little coil boost. So we get that nice little drop. And I can just go into Hydreigon here. It's a pretty solid play. I'll go into Hydreigon. I got the choice specs ready to rock. And we're really locking in this match. We're really locking in. Milotic finally snaps out of its confusion. Hypnosis lands. Night Night Dragonite. We're not dealing with this Outrage, man. We're not dealing with this. You you thought you were going to KO me. You were like, hey, I can E-Speed and Outrage pick up this KO onto this bulky Milotic. No shot. No shot. Now you're asleep and minus one on attack. And confused. And confused. Oh, baby. Hot, hot plays for us. Real hot plays for us. So now Milo's getting back a ton of HP. And I'm ready to launch some Hydro Pumps. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. I could honestly just Dragon Cheer. Now would be the turn to do it. Let's do it. Let's Dragon Cheer Jericho Meteor. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know, I know Jericho Meteor will come out here first, which is good. But um, Dragon Cheer is just going to help us out tremendously. So he ends up hard swapping into his final Pokemon, which is going to be Chandelure. Jericho Meteor going to launch and connect. Bop, 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 bop. Bye bye, Chandelure. And my special attack's going to drop, but I get the Dragon Cheer up, which is awesome. Dragon Cheer. Player off can launch. You got player off. Of course you do. Of course you got player off. <laughs> of course you guys. So we get the Dragon Cheer off. Beautiful. I could end up hard swapping into Incineroar, but I just love our boost right now. We're just boosted up. You can E-Speed, to be honest. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to E-Speed. We might just hard swap the Hydreigon. 
just to intimidate. Or I can hard swap in the rule boom. That's not a bad play. That's not a bad play. I mean, so you're guaranteed to be actually you're not guaranteed to be asleep this turn. You were not. We are we are gonna launch a hydro pump in this slot. And he's forced to east speed here. He's forced to east speed in the Hydragon. I mean I could just swap an instant or he's forced to east speed in the Hydragon. So that dragon cheer all for nothing. I'll turn this match to like a 4v1. Hopefully Dragon I can be asleep here again. His choice band's gone, which is awesome. But more importantly, we're gonna make this thing minus two, right? Then we already party shot into that. There's the east speed. And he actually sent it into Milo slot, which we soak no problem. We soak no problem. And yeah, this is the, that's game. We legit just outplayed our opponent in this game. Like I said, I, I, I'm bouncing back this one. Milo took one shot in here. I told you guys, I'm bouncing back this match number two. Match number one, we played a little iffy. This one I locked in, and we're getting after it. Making all the right calls, all the right plays. Doing everything. This should be a sweep. This should be a sweep. So Milo tick, after getting one coil set up, is just an absolute menace. It's an absolute menace. I can Hydro Pump here, do respectable damage. And I can just knock off. We can't fake out because of inner focus. And they just cancel match. So match number two, big time sweep. Time for our final match. We're sitting one and one. Let's get after it. Annihilate Mousehold. God, I hate that combo. Come on, man. I don't want that. I don't want that. They're probably going to lead it. It's going to get a little scary. They also have Golden Go. They got Talonflame. They got Rilla Boom. They got Primarina. So how are we going to counter Mousehold Annihilate? Can't go into Incineroar because we can't intimidate it. It's probably defiant. Um, Haze won't do anything. What could we do here? Hydragon? Maybe like Poison Terror Hydragon? Maybe set up Milo? But dude, just like the beat up combo is just... Ah. It's ugly. You know what? We haven't used Tinkaton today. We're going to go Milo Tinkaton. Maybe Fake Out. Try to set up Coil. Or maybe just like go for Hypnosis Land. That... That's not bad, but they could tear a ghost mouse hole. Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal. I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to go for it anyway. Maybe they w don't want to waste terror there. All right, so both of them. Um, do we want Incineroar? I kind of would rather have Rillaboom here. A little Rillaboom and Hydragon. All right. This one, this one's not looking good. This matchup is not looking good. Like, the mouse hole Nihilate combo just... Mm. Oh, man, it's ugly. It's real ugly because I don't really like have anything to counter it, right? Maybe I should just went in the robe for the lead, like a, like a grassy, like a grassy terrain, grass terror wood hammer choice band. That that might have been the play. And then just like Rita protect, but they don't end up going into it, which is really good for us. Really good for us. Someone's got to be Cobra Cloak, correct? I definitely want to set up this Coil. I'm going to go Coil. Um, do I Dragon Terror here? I definitely want to fake out somebody. You could be Cobra Cloaked. Let's be honest here. I'm going to fake out the Mouse Hold. I think you're Cobra Cloaked. I really do. There's the Flare Blitz. Do we soak this? We do soak it, which is really good news. That's really solid for us. I do think Talonflame's Cobra Cloak. That's actually a good call for us. So we get off this Coil Boost. Um, I can Hydro Pump finish you off. I could. I might just want to go after this Mouse Hold. First and foremost. Leave Talonflame on the field. Like, what are you, you going to do? Get off a Tailwind? That's fine by me. I'm going to go after this Mouse Hold. Could swap and save Tinkaton. But I mean, if Tinkaton dies out, Tinkaton dies out. No, no big deal. I'm going to look to get rid of this mouse hold. I really want to get rid of this mouse hold. Just because I'm so scared of, like, the Annihilate combo, I really am. I think I'd just rather get after that. So he's going to end up Flare Blitz, and I mean, that, that's that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Mouse hold's looking a little scary. It's kind of looking at me like it's going to pop bomb. Right? It's going to Ankh. Bruh. Ankh, really? At least I'm coil boosting. <laughs> At least I'm coil boosting. All right. We gotta get out something to KO that thing. Gotta get out something to KO that bad boy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be you, Hydrogen. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna sit here and coil up. I'm gonna sit here and bulk my defenses up, especially because you had a lot of physical attackers, is that correct? Yeah, everybody except for Golden Go and Primarina. I mean, I guess we're coiling up here again. 
If I get Dark Pulse rip, it's gonna be my play. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. We'll see a Terror type pop out here. It's gotta be Talonflame, right? Maybe Mousehold. Usually your Ghost. I'm gonna go normal. Okay, uh, that, that's gotta be Pop Bomb Mousehold then. That's gotta be Pop Bomb Mousehold all day. If you're, if you're going normal Terra, it's scaring me a little bit. Flare Blitz gonna launch here. It's gonna do negative five. Not very effective damage. Dark Pulse should go first. Actually, Mousehold is fast Pokemon. It does go first. Oh, dude, this is brutal. This is brutal. This is brutal. This is real brutal. This is real brutal. I'm coiling up. I think our our best case of action here. Oh, dude, Flare Bush just does so much damage to us. Our best case of action is just going like Brass Terra, right? Our only way of winning this is, is going to be getting rid of this mouse hole, because if not, it keeps it keeps me in Encore. It's just going to keep me in Encore. It's just going to be a big-time problem. We're one, we have one turn left in this, in this Encore, correct? Yo, our opponent plays this one good, so we're going to coil up. And we're going to do this in Grass God. I think we can survive at what's called, but... But there's a chance that Flare Blitz does chaos. Like Tinkaton soaked it, but Tinkaton's a bit more bulkier. So I'm going Grass Terra. Uh, I'm looking to KO here. I'm looking to KO. Choice Span, Stab, Terra Boost it in the terrain. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. That's a big time KO for us. That's a big time KO. Now can we eat up a Flare Blitz? If we can eat up a Flare Blitz. This could be monstrous for us. If we can eat up a Flare Blitz, because then I'm just cool boosted for days. Brave Bird, can we eat this? Flare Blitz, Brave Bird doing the same damage. We do soak it. We do soak it, which is huge. It allows me to get off another Grassy Glide into opponent. So now my coil turns are over. Myla's ready to go. Just show me physical attackers. They don't got Terra anymore, which is great news. Real good news here. My Encore is gone. Thank you. Now, now my accuracy is through the roof. I can put anybody to sleep if I want to. I wish I had protect on this roll boom, but I'm choice bandit. Golden Ghost is going to come out here. Um, I am going to hydro pump this slot down. <clears throat> and I, I guess we'll just go in the grass glide into town flame, which honestly has a shot of KO. And I know it's four times resistant, but it has a shot of KO. And I'd rather bring it down low enough where recoil damage can KO it as well. So grass glide, we're going to send it into that slot. Grass glide launching. So close to KO, but recoil damage should be able to do the work. The real question is, how much damage is this Hydro Pump doing? So Talon Flame's going to drop. Hydro Pump's not boosted by anything. I mean, the accuracy is only high. Its defense is high. And who's your final Pokemon? Because Golden Ghost is the big threat right now. My special defense isn't high. My regular defense is high. My special attack's not high. My regular attack's high. And he's got Thunderbolt. Why you got Thunderbolt? Why you got Thunderbolt? Give me a crit. I need a crit to win this game now. Yeah, no. Just not happening. Thunderbolt on the golden go. Who could be choice. That was just a good place from our opponents to Encore. Really doing us in. But still, super surprised at Milotic today. I think this Pokemon was phenomenal once it got set up. This match didn't really help with, like, no protects and our choice specs Pokemon. I think there was a lot of, like, no protect Pokemon on this team. Like, do we even have a protect? Hold up. You don't have protect. You don't have protect. You don't have protect. You don't have Protect. Incineroar doesn't have Protect. And our last Pokemon marker, we have no Protects on this team. Kind of rough. Kind of rough. Protect is like single-handedly the best move. But, um, I mean, Annihilate comes out here. And honestly, I, oh, dude, I should have put... Actually, I can't even put him to sleep. I was going to say I should have put Gold to go to sleep, but I can't put it to sleep. You do good as Gold. Yeah, this one's just wraps. We're going to go for a Hydro Pump. But, I mean, both these guys can soak a Hydro Pump at this point. GG's. GG's final gambit as well. Nice little play from them. Nice little play. Opponents played good today. We end up going one and two, but still, I feel like we showcased this team and this Milotic really, really well. Not a bad set of matches today. Feel like we played some really good opponents. I was top 2,000 in Master Tier, so we were playing like top 1,000 players today. So, again, solid matches all around. I feel like our opponents played really well. But this team all around, very, very solid. I love Milotic with Coil. I feel like once this Pokemon gets set up, it's just a huge threat.
it's like landing hypnosis is hydro pumps no problem it's bulking out it's got the leftovers and then you just pair it up with like grassy terrain roller boom and you're just sitting there constantly healing hp again protect would have been nice to have on a few of these pokemon we had no protect today which kind of bit us because we want to waste out some turns we want to predict some reads but we just couldn't with no protect so this team would definitely be top tier if it did have protects but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots every day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody